Okay. Uh, hello everyone. We are here on another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you the verb um, do or make. And it's not exactly as it is in uh, English, but it has some similarities. So, the verb is here. It is yapmak. And uh, by itself, it may mean do or make. But when it comes to some other words, um, when it comes beside some other words, it gave some similar meanings or the slice of change is considered in the meaning. So uh, we are going to see how these um, changes happen and I'm going to give you all the verb uh, conjugations. So let's go to the examples. Okay, here we have some examples. Um, now I'm going to show you how this yapmak uh, may mean do or make or um, something quite different. Okay, the first example is kahvaltı yapmak. And it means having breakfast. Kahvaltı yapmak, having breakfast. Ödev yapmak means doing homework. Ödev yapmak means doing homework. Görev yapmak means doing a duty. Or taking a responsibility, doing a duty. Doğru yapmak means doing something right, doing something on a in a right way. Yanlış yapmak means doing wrong. Yanlış yapmak, doing wrong. Hata yapmak, making a mistake. Hata yapmak, making a mistake. Hata is an Arabic word, it is hata. So, those who know Arabic, I mean, it's easy for them sometimes to learn some words. Okay, here we have surat yapmak. It means having a grumpy face or showing that you are um you are not in the mood or I don't know, you don't like to talk to anyone and your face shows that. That is surat yapmak. Actually, surat means face expression. Okay. Bina yapmak. Bina is also an Arabic word. Building a building or making a building. Okay. Bina yapmak. Proje yapmak. Doing a project. Doing a project. Okay, um, so you see all these examples here and they may mean do, they may mean make or have and yeah, examples like that. These are the examples that you may face uh, in uh, um, on daily basis, so I chose them. Okay, now let's see how we uh, conjugate the verbs. We need the root of the verb. So we need the imperative, uh, which is the root of the verb. And we add the suffix of our tense. And then we continue conjugating. Okay, for having the root of the verb, we need the imperative. Uh, it's the same thing. So we need the infinitive uh, to just um, crop the infinitive suffix. What is that? For example, here we have the infinitive yapmak, which is to make or to do. 
And here we have the infinitive form of um, git make, which is to go. If we uh, just take mock or make, which is the suffix of an infinitive, then we will have the root of the verb, which is yap, and here it is git. And these are the imperative. You can order using the root of the verb. Um, and I mean, you can use it like this. Okay. This is an imperative form. Okay. On present continuous, uh, we are going to have the meaning of like I am doing, you are doing, and so on. So I'm going to read them once, then I'm going to translate one by one. Ban something, yapıyorum. San yapıyorsun. O buşu yapıyor. Biz yapıyoruz. Siz yapıyorsunuz. Onlar yapıyorlar. Okay. So here we have... Um, Ben, let's say, proje yapıyorum. Ben proje yapıyorum. I am doing a project. Sen proje yapıyorsun. You are doing a project. O proje yapıyor. He is doing a project. Biz proje yapıyoruz. We are doing a project. Siz proje yapıyorsunuz. You are doing a project. Onlar proje yapıyorlar. They are doing a project. Okay. Now let's go to the negative form. We have the positive form here and the negative form here. The only thing you do is that you put a sound of m at the um the letter m here, and you should be very careful how people pronounce um. And you should um, really notice the m here because it makes the um, verb negative. So I read it this way, like one positive, one negative. Okay. Yapıyorum, yapmıyorum. Yapıyorsun, yapmıyorsun. Yapıyor, yapmıyor. Yapıyoruz, yapmıyoruz. Yapıyorsunuz, yapmıyorsunuz. Yapıyorlar, yapmıyorlar. Okay, you see I've mentioned the negative suffix here with black and the conjugation uh, suffixes here with red. And um, please take notes on your notebooks. Prepare a notebook for yourself because you're going to note all of these. And the more you read them, uh, the more it comes familiar to you and you can uh, learn them much more easily. If this video has been useful till now, please give a thumbs up and um, uh, let's continue. Here we have present simple, they call it Geni Soman. Yes, okay. Um. They use it as a simple present kind of concept and at the same time uh, they use this kind of verb to give promises or um, to mention that they are going to do something for you. When they want to give a promise about something that they will do, they use this tense as well. Okay. So here we have ben yaparım means I do. Sen yaparsın means you do. Um, okay, for example, sen yaparsın sometimes is used like you can, please do it. You are the per person who can do this. Okay, it's a kind of promise. You give a promise to the person that you do it anyway. Okay. O yapar, he does. Biz yaparız, we do. Siz yaparsınız, you do. Onlar yaparlar, they do. Okay. 
Yes, as I told you, this is a present simple, but they use it to give promises. Okay. Yes. So let's go to the negative form. Here we have, as you see, I have um, shown them in black color. Mm, so we have ben yaparım, ben yapmam. Sen yaparsın, sen yapmazsın. O yapar, o yapmaz. Biz yaparız, biz yapmayız. Siz yaparsınız, siz yapmazsınız. Onlar yaparlar, onlar yapmazlar. Okay. Uh, here we have something. This suffix, this negative suffix, because uh, of being in present simple, um, it gives a kind of um, never meaning. Okay. It gives um, a kind of like a promise that this will not happen or we don't expect this happen or this will never happen or it never happens okay so yeah keep in mind that it, it gives a um, never kind of meaning now let's go to the next one here we have the past tense the simple past tense Okay, this suffix actually starts with the sound, but um, because this, um, sorry, okay, because here we have P and it is an aspirated letter, and the D changes to T, actually, and we have uh, the sound of F, S, T, K, Ch, Sh, H, P, all of them together. And when the suffixes with D sound um, joins them, it changes to T automatically. And yes, it is an assimilation here, but uh, they mind to turn it um, by letters as well. Okay. So, ben yaptım means I did, sen yaptın, you did, o yaptı, he did, biz yaptık, we did, siz yaptınız, you did, onlar yaptılar, they did. Okay, I read them once more. Ben yaptım, sen yaptın, o yaptı, biz yaptık, siz yaptınız, onlar yaptılar. Okay, now let's go to the negative form. Here we have the negative form of past simple. You see what I was talking about? The original form of this red um, um, suffixes, the main conjugation suffix of past tense for uh, this verb, I mean for any verb, you see that it goes with Dum, dun, de, dik, dunas, dular. Um, actually, uh, the vowel sound may change according to the sound harmony, but here what we have is what you see here. So we have the ma suffix for making it negative. So we have yaptım, yapmadım. I mentioned the positive form as well. Yaptım, yapmadım. Um, yaptın, yapmadın. Sen yapmadın. And yaptı, yapmadı. Yaptık, yapmadık. Yaptınız, yapmadınız. Yaptılar, yapmadılar. So here we have sen yapmadın. You didn't do. Pardon. Uh, ben yapmadım, I didn't do. 
Sen yapmadın, you didn't do. O yapmadı, he didn't do. Biz yapmadık, we didn't do. Siz yapmadınız, you didn't do. Onlar yapmadılar, they didn't do. Okay. Here we have uh, past continuous. They don't call it past continuous. They call it şimdiki zamanın hikayesi. The story of, I mean, present continuous. I don't know why they call it this. They could call it something more, much more easier. Okay, we don't um, want to name want to name this tense, but um, what I'm going to teach you is that what you're going to see now. These ones are uh, quite equivalent to past continuous, okay? So, um, so here we have ban yapıyordum means I was doing. Sen yapıyordun, you were doing. O yapıyordu. He was doing, or she was doing, or it was doing, whatever. Um, biz yapıyorduk. We were doing. Siz yapıyordunuz. You were doing. Onlar yapıyorlardı. They were doing. Okay. And... Um, these three dots that I have put at the end of uh, the English sentences are something that is going to be here, in the middle, like another word. You see these empty places? Okay. I didn't put the three dots here because I was lazy. Now, let's go to the negative form. The negative form of past continuous. Here are the positive form. And here we have the negative form. So, ben yapıyordum. Ben yapmıyordum. We only have the letter M here. Sen yapıyordun. Sen yapmıyordun. O yapıyordu. O yapmıyordu. Biz yapıyorduk, siz, sorry, biz yapmıyorduk. Siz yapıyordunuz, siz yapmıyordunuz. Onlar yapıyorlardı, onlar yapmıyorlardı. Okay. So, I was not doing, you were not doing, he was not doing, we were not doing, you were not doing, they were not doing. Okay, here we have the future tense. They call it gelecek zaman. Gelecek means future. Zaman means time. Yes. Here we have ben yapacağım. I will do. Sen yapacaksın. You will do. O yapacak. He will do. Biz yapacağız. We will do. Siz yapacaksınız. You will do. Onlar yapacaklar. They will do. I read it once more. Ben yapacağım. Sen yapacaksın. O yapacak. Biz yapacağız. Siz yapacaksınız. Onlar yapacaklar. Okay. Now the negative form. Here, we have the suffix my. Actually, the suffix is ma. But because we have this a sound and the other a sound from the other suffix, um, these two a's must be divided by a consonant. And year has been chosen to fix this problem. So, it happens to be my here to make the future tense negative. 
So, ban yapmayacağım. The positive form is yapacağım. Negative form yapmayacağım. Yapacaksın, yapmayacaksın. Yapacak, yapmayacak. Yapacağız, yapmayacağız. Yapacaksınız, yapmayacaksınız. Yapacaklar, yapmayacaklar. So here we have ben yapacağım. Pardon. Ben yapmayacağım. I won't do. Sen yapmayacaksın. You won't do. O yapmayacak. He won't do. Biz yapmayacağız. We won't do. Siz yapmayacaksınız. You won't do. Onlar yapmayacaklar. They won't do. Okay. Now let's go to another tense. Okay. Here. I don't know how to name this um, tense, but it gives a meaning of I was supposed to. Okay. Somebody was supposed to. They call it gelecek zamanın hikayesi. Uh, in this, yeah, was supposed to should solve the problem for you. Let's go through the verb. It's a combination of um, future tense and past tense. Okay, something that would happen, something that was going to happen. But hasn't happened. So um, here we have ben yapacaktım means I was supposed to do or I was going to do. Sen yapacaktın you were supposed to do or you were going to do. Um, o yapacaktı he was supposed to do or he was going to do. Biz yapacaktık, we were supposed to do or we were going to do. Siz yapacaktınız, you were supposed to do or you were going to do. Onlar yapacaklardı. Means they were supposed to do or they were going to do whatever they were supposed to. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now, here we are going to have the negative form. As you see, the suffix comes with a, so probably we are going to have a my here. Okay, so the negative form of this is going to be um, yapmayacaktım, yapmayacaktın, yapmayacaktı, yapmayacaktık, yapmayacaktınız. Yapmayacaklardı. Okay, so we say like this person wasn't supposed to do whatever. So we add my here and make it negative. Okay. Um, this tense here, this is another tense. Um... Well, I personally believe that it was similar to present perfect. It is in, um, it's, it's the same in, in, in Azari Turkish, but here in um, Istanbul Turkish, they say that it is not so, but it has a meaning that, uh, let me show you the verbs. Okay. Um, with this suffix, mishim, mishsin, mish, mishes, mishsiniz, mishlar, um, they have a meaning in this verb that it shows that someone has said something and the person who's talking about this um, is mentioning that he hasn't personally experienced what was going on. He hasn't seen what was going on. He is just um, giving um, reported um, whatever, something reported. He's reporting something. He has heard something and he is reporting that. Okay. So when somebody is using this 
مش 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 um, suffixes this person means that he has heard it or he has read it or someone else has said that okay and that's why they call it do you learn it means that something that has been heard or öğrenilen something that is learned from somewhere else get me someone so it's a kind of past tense but um i mean it says that someone is saying that well i would like to call it the gossip tense because it kind of seems so yeah this means that um this language <laughs> has the um potential to make gossip anyway they have a gossip tense um so ban yapmışım means that it is said that i have done sen yapmışsın it means that it is said that you have done o yapmış means it is said that she has done biz yapmışız it is said that we have done Siz yapmışsınız. It is said that you have done. Onlar yapmışlar means it is said that they have done. Okay. Um, for making this negative, we bring a ma suffix between yap and this mush family. Okay. So we have yapmamışım, yapmamışsın, yapmamış, yapmamışız, yapmamışsınız, yapmamışlar. Yeah, I've prepared the negative form of it as you see here. Ben yapmamışım means it is said that I haven't done. Sen yapmamışsın. It is said that you haven't done. O yapmamış means it is said that he hasn't done. Biz yapmamışız. It is said that we haven't done. Siz yapmamışsınız. It is said that you haven't done. Onlar yapmamışlar. It is said that they haven't done. Okay. Now. We have the same story here about future. Okay. Somebody talks about, oh, we have heard, or it is said, or people are saying. <laughs> yeah. So we have the suffix of um, ajak, which is from the future, and we have the other suffix of this mush 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 gossip suffix from the previous tense that I showed you. They call it gelecek zamanın rivayeti, the story of future tense. I don't know. What, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, yeah, this is what it's going to mean. Ben yapacakmışım. It is said that I will do or it is said I am going to do. Sen yapacakmışsın. It is said that you will do. O yapacakmış. It is said that he will do or he is going to do. Biz yapacakmışız. It is said that we will do. Siz yapacakmışsınız. It is said that you will do. Biz, pardon. Onlar yapacaklarmış. It is said that they will do. Like they are going to do. It is said so. Somebody is saying all this. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. This is how it means. Okay. All these words, all these words here are fit in these huge suffix 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 um chain okay let me read them once 
Ben yapacakmışım, sen yapacakmışsın. O yapacakmış, biz yapacakmışız. Siz yapacakmışsınız, onlar yapacaklarmış. Okay. I know I'm reading fast. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> But um, you can stop the video and go it like syllabus to syllabus. Like ya pa jak mışım. Ya pa jak mışsın. Ya pa jak mışsın. Okay. This is um, the way you can um, make it easier for yourself. Then um, you can listen to how fast i read okay sorry about being that fast i didn't want to bother you but anyway uh here now let's go to the negative form okay as long as we had a jack here my was going to appear okay so ban yapacakmışım It is said that I won't. Yap, pardon. Ben yapmayacakmışım. It is said that I won't do. Or it is not me who is supposed to do that. It, it has a kind of meaning. Ben yapmayacakmışım. It is said that it's not my job. I'm not going to do that. Somebody else is going to do that. Sen yapmayacakmışsın. It is said that you won't do it. Somebody else is going to do. Like, it has that kind of meaning, yeah. O yapmayacakmış. It is said that he won't do. Biz yapmayacakmışız. It is said that we won't do or we are not going to do that. It's not us who is supposed to do that. Siz yapmayacakmışsınız. It's a long verb. I know. I know. Take a deep breath. Siz yapmayacakmışsınız. How many suffixes? Let's count. Sınız. One. Mış. Two. Acak. Three. My. Four. Yap is the root. Yeah. It has five parts. Okay. Uh, siz yapmayacakmışsınız means it is said that you won't do. Somebody else going is going to do. Okay, yapmayacakmışlar. Larmış. Onlar yapmayacakmışlar. Or larmış. Here, if you have noticed uh, in the last... Um, Um, subject. Uh, here we have mushlar. We can change it. This lar can be um, here just before mush, like the but uh, the um, previous uh, verbs, verb conjugation that we have. You may see this lar before the last suffix here with a slice change in place. Okay. Uh, it means it is said that they won't do. Somebody else is going to do. Okay. Yeah, we're done here. Let's go to past perfect. I had done. Okay, they don't call it past perfect. They call it something wrong. They call it Duolan Geçmiş Zamanın Hikayesi. The story of something in the past which we have heard. Oh my God. Okay, let me tell you. Um, This is what we have here. Okay. And the way they use it, it perfectly matches past perfect okay so don't worry about it ben yapmıştım i had done sen yapmıştın you had done o yapmıştı he had done biz yapmıştık we had done siz yapmıştınız you had done onlar yapmışlardı they had done okay you see Yeah, we have large just before the last suffix here. 
Okay. Yeah. I'll read it once more. Ben yapmıştım, sen yapmıştın. O yapmıştı, biz yapmıştık. Siz yapmıştınız, onlar yapmışlardı. Okay. To make it negative, we are going to put ma. I suppose. Yeah. Let's see. I hadn't done. Yes, we have the suffix ma here. Ben yapmamıştım. I hadn't done. Sen yapmamıştın. You hadn't done. O yapmamıştı. He hadn't done. Biz yapmamıştık. We hadn't done. Siz yapmamıştınız. You hadn't done. Onlar yapmamışlardı. They hadn't done. Okay. So, yes, we did it. Okay, good luck with all these conjugations and negative forms. Guys, I know it is not going to be easy to learn all of them, but this verb yapmak was a good example because you have it besides some other verbs as the examples, uh, as it was shown in the examples. and. You will use this verb a lot. So, um, I thought that you are going, you, you'd better learn all of them at once, uh, at least to be familiar, because when you watch a film or movie, you see all these sentences in all tenses. And, um, yes, just something I was going to say. You know, I, I don't upload videos regularly, so it's good to be notified if you're going to um, continue my videos, follow, uh, continue following my videos, so you need to be notified, okay? So if you subscribe and um, have the ring, I mean, just press the ring bell. Uh, you will be notified. Okay, thank you for uh, watching. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to like. I don't know if you listen this part because <laughs> not everybody follows to the end. Okay, anyway, good luck.